matter. You're going to end up waking her anyway. He's got a point, you know. Shut up, Sadness. I know. Denial, you know Mum wouldn't like the way you're talking to Sadness. Whose go is it anyway? Denial! Sheesh, okay! Can you guys just let me be? Hello, Tori. I'm Denial, and I'm... How come you can open this door and I can't? Because... Why are you even in here? You know what, why am, I, why am I even here trapped in my own room? Why? Because you're what? not ready to see her yet. Well, who even are you and why are you here? I'm Denial. I'm the first child of grief. I've come to help you with the loss of your grandmother. The reason you cannot escape your room is because your mind has associated it with a safe place. You are stuck inside your head and until you are accepting of the truth, you will not be able to leave. So, how come you could come in? Because I'm also in your head, and I'm only the first to visit you. For my brothers and sisters will pay you a visit too, when the time is right. So, who are your brothers and sisters? Well, there are five of us. Myself, anger, sadness, bargaining, and acceptance. I don't know who will visit you next. That depends on the contract you have with our mother. What contract? My mother has contracts with everyone, you see. She knows everyone's personality, so when someone experiences grief, she knows in which order her children should help that person. She tells each of us our order, but we are to keep it a secret until our turn. It's a little guessing game I like to play. So to cut a long story short, I won't know who is to visit you until my time is up. When do you know your time's up? When mother tells the next child it's their turn. Why don't you rest? Mum and Dad were wondering if you wanted to join us for a movie. Oh, I'm good, thank you. Okay.
You have to say no. You and I have a date. Doing absolutely nothing. Do you want me to reply for you? I'll reply for you. Why did she have to leave me? What? Why couldn't the doctors fix her? How about we watch some Netflix? I heard that there's a no. I don't want to watch anything. I want to know why my Nana is gone and why the doctors couldn't fix her. Tori, I need you to calm down. Oh, uh, why? Why couldn't they save her? Why? How can someone just leave like that? I didn't even get to say. Time's up, sis. She's all yours. Bye, Tori. Loser. So I'm anger. Second child of grief. Nice to meet you. Just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she sliding. Tell her to mock it. Yeah, I got that shit doing. Then she took the thing off and bring it around. Just like a wedding, I'm crashing in. Hundreds on hundreds, I'm moving and grooving. She wanna cut up, I'ma slash again. Buckets on buckets, I'm switching edition. Back in my back, going back again. Oh, so like Aladdin, yeah. I'm on a carpet, flying through all this, ain't doing no talking, right? They on my body as soon as I walk in, bitches be stalking. Uh. They loving the drip, they think I'm a force, they gotta move cautious. Uh. Back in my duffel, I'm working a double like I'm in an office. Yeah. Tell them to watch it, now I ain't talking my pockets. Just know we ain't running up the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she got it. Tell her to mock it. Yeah, I got that shit going. Baby, took the thing off. Thank you for joining me today. Um, it's good to see you. Um, I've had a few complaints from teachers and students about Tori's behaviour. She's been lashing out at other students. She's been disrespectful to both teachers and students. She's been missing classes and she hasn't been doing her work. This type of behaviour um, is not tolerated and the
suburban. Uh, yeah, these d are square like Irvin. Yeah, we grew up in the hood, no suburbans. Uh, if I say I need my money, then it's urgent. Yeah, yeah, they want me to quit. Yeah, they want me to shift. But as long as I'm alive, we gon' keep on making hits. Why they steady shit? Man, I have an idea. Me and Dale back to back, and yeah, I'm dishing this. Yeah, they talk a lot of but we really with this blame. It's always gonna be reaching for they hit Smoking like a clip they, they can never catch me slipping Every time your girl around She be watch the way I'm tripping Test me in again, we let it rain Please don't start us up Got that black and white, they ain't ain't man This is all for sale Please don't search us, we don't got a thing Tell them park it up Then at the park it up Them jeans up, it's sparking up Like the fireworks, I keep the flame Heard you parking up This the wrong tree, I got the strings I'm charging up They can't keep up, got them looking drained Now they walking up Trying to put the face to the name I'm in flex mode with the best Watch out! Look, Tori, I... Get out. Tor no! You get out! Get out of my you car! You me! Get out of my car! Tori. Get out! Are you happy, Tori? Are you happy? You still need me, Tori! Who are you? I'm Sadness, Griff's third child. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Why not we go watch a movie?
They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, beautiful. I wonder if she's up there. Who? Your grandma? Yeah. I reckon she's up there, exploring the stars. But also believe she's next to you, watching over you. I wish I'd spent more time with her and helped her out more. There's nothing you could have done. What if we'd taken her to a different hospital? What if we'd treated her sooner? Maybe she'd still be with us now. Fate decided it was her time. Her story was to be continued up in the heavens, where the stars write her new chapter. How do you know that? I know many things. Things which I can teach you in your journey to acceptance. But in order for you to learn, you must join me. Sadness? But if you take her hand, you'll leave me forever. You know I need to. It's the only way I can get better and join acceptance. You've treated me well. Thank you for healing me. You must be bargaining. Indeed I am. Fourth child of grief. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Now let's get you dried up and head home. Your parents are worried about you. wonder if I'd helped her out more or spent more time with her, maybe I wouldn't feel so guilty. I'd do anything just to see her one last time. Anything? Anything. You said that you wish you had helped her more and spent more time with her, correct? Yeah. Why don't you start by helping others? Your grandmother would like that. Oh, uh, hey, um, I'm gonna go with some friends and go get some food and then we're gonna go on a drive and uh, I was wondering if you maybe want to come. Um, you can bring some of your friends if you like and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I understand if you're busy though and or you don't want to come or you're busy I'd love to. Work. Okay, come on, grab your stuff, let's go. Bunch of bitches, in my opinion. Yeah.
Angels, if you're listening, please look after my Nana. Let her know that I love her and miss her a lot. Please just send me a sign to let me know that she's okay. Please. You know, I can't help but wonder that this feather is a sign from the angels. But I know it probably sounds stupid, but... I don't think it's stupid. I think it's beautiful. It was a sign. She's ready. Don't worry. I'll take care of her. Where am I? In a dream. Who, are you an angel? No, I'm not an angel. But I am acceptance. Grief's fifth child. The final stage. Exactly. Why am I dreaming of a forest? Well, this is where you scattered your grandmother's ashes, isn't it? Well, yeah, it is. But why would I be dreaming of this place? Because it's where you feel most connected to your grandmother. After all, her essence does flow through this place. Why are you here? I'm here to talk to you about your grandmother. What did you want to talk about? The fact that until you let go of the guilt in your heart, you'll never be able to join me in accepting your grandmother's death. I'm truly sorry that you lost her. I know she misses you just as much, but the hard truth is that it was her time. Eventually everyone's turn will come when it is their time to go. But I know the real reason why you hold on to guilt so tightly. It's because you never got to say goodbye. I didn't think I'd be seeing you here, Grief. I must admit, you're not quite what I was expecting. Let me guess. You were expecting a being of darkness who lurks in the shadows. Not all unknown is frightening and monstrous.
Nano! Oh, my beautiful girl, I missed you. Now I don't have very long, but I want you to know I'm very well looked after by the angels. They will always help if you ask. Never forget that. I will always love you and protect you. And I will send you little signs to let you know I'm with you. You were the angel that was sending me the signs. I want you to know that just because my body is gone, it does not mean that I am gone from here. Our spirit will always be alive. Please always remember that. And although you won't see me, that doesn't mean I'm not there. I love you so much, Nana. I love you too. You are a being of light. Don't ever let anyone take that away from you. Don't want to say that you've been 